final episode where I go to die. Obviously. <laughs> why do- why? Why do people have to die? We only just met! We only just started getting along! Alone. I can't stand being alone! <laughs> Break. Deep down inside, you actually hate me, don't you? Huh? What's this all of, all of a sudden, Lieutenant General? You seem suspiciously sincere. Of course! I'm not sure what's going to happen after all this. I'm just as in the dark as the rest of you. I know you'll survive this, though. At least, I created you with that in mind, after all. I wanted to create an android who could live on to show the universe that humanity existed and tell them all about us. You were built to survive everything from a supernova to a vacuum. But that's you, and only you. No one else, not even me, would be left to stand by your side. <sighs> because of that, you have all the reason in the world to hate me. I created you with no regard for your feelings. Yeah, you certainly did. But you're in the same boat. I mean, you were made a prodigy without any regard to, for your feelings, too. <laughs> Product of bioengineering experiments, right? There were several children engineered with superior intellect, if I recall. So what does it matter if I hate you or not? It doesn't change a thing in the end. Besides, I won't be left alone. None of us are alone in this.
Keep the warship cruising at maximum speed, Kuragane. We should be able to make it before humanity's time is up. Grants him the ability to seize control of light. Whoa. Okay. This speed we're traveling now is the theoretical limit. No one in the future, no one in the entire future of humanity can ever surpass it. Which means we may be the first humans to ever venture this far into deep space. In fact, I'd say we almost definitely are. You possess the remarkable ability to see faster than the speed of light, yet you're staring into the void. Reminds me a bit of a poem I once read. To summarize, I believe one could call that a representation of hope. Huh? Uh, uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, oh, look, the planet's getting closer. Wow, are we already this far out? <laughs> That's all I get. Man, I can't catch a break! <sighs> it's gonna be hard to remember how it looked from just that one moment. No, don't worry. I'll remember everything for you. For a mind like mine, it's no effort at all. <laughs> Brandon! Don't worry, our paths have crossed, so you'll never be alone again. I'm so glad I met you, Cthulhu. <laughs> Brandon! I, I won't cry. I can control my feelings. <laughs> You'll ship me with Kathuga, huh? Alright. <sighs> Where am I? I was just lying in bed a moment ago. <laughs> Welcome. You finally come, O oh, heir to our throne. What? Who are you? Where have you taken me? How are, is there more than one person? You are deep within the dreamlands, where we hold dominion. And as name doth suggest, these are the land of dreams. Here is where... Here is where we have been banished to, chased away from our glorious throne and prohibited from ever leaving. So I'm dreaming then. Why would someone I don't know be here? It's unusual to dream of a stranger. You asked the wrong questions. You are within our dreams. You are the one who has become a dreamer and entered our realm. We are they who have been confined to these realms, never to step foot outside their borders. Oh, but to imagine you would come barging in from the other side, directly through the depths of our psyche. You really can't leave? So, you're stuck in a never-ending dream. Do you pity us? Or perhaps 
you desire to laugh at our miserable predicament. Laugh if you must, though you and we share this fate, with you trapped in the confines of that cramped, walled city. But we, at least, have our vassals to keep us company. Our predicament is not to be pitied. Wait, do you mean the shadow buggers? So you're the one in charge? Which means you're... This place is... You know not how long we've waited, and how impatiently. But now, you are finally here, O oh heir to the throne. Yes, you who will succeed our dominion over this slumberland. Do you remember your name? Lou. Lou. Lou sounds familiar. No. I can't make sense of what's going on. What's happening? Let me look up Lou. Celtic Pantheon. Directly attack. So who would Lou be part of? Who? Fair wait. Uh Tiernanog? Member of the Tuatha De De Nan. Tiernanog? General Bertro, I'm turning command over to you for this. From here on out, I must put my absolute all into steering this ship. The rest is in your hands. This is to be my final order for this mission. <laughs> That's awfully trusting of you, and spoken with no hesitation. Who are you and what have you done with the commander? <laughs> I suppose I've rid myself of what was previously haunting me, Lieutenant Gent. Bertram. I've come all this way carrying a terrible weight, capable of pulling myself away from what I thought to be my raison d'etre. For so long, I stood there just watching my three siblings stab one another in the back again and again. But now I see the world differently. I see it from outside, from this vantage point that outer space has provided me. From here, it all looks so tiny, so insignificant. It's hard to believe my horizons were so limited for so long. I will fight to the bitter end, with all my heart and soul. I will fight. I've been keeping my big brother waiting for far too long as it is, there in that tiny city. He's bound to be worried about me haven't been away all this time. It's a tough life, being the little brother. <laughs> yeah! He got away! We've been waiting for him for so long, but he got away! Ah, whatever. He'll be back in no time. To jump right into our mouth. <laughs> now, servants! Go fetch our visitors and escort them to our chamber.
<laughs> it's about time to get this last biggest party started. Welcome, guest, to the Dreamland. Beginning center sweep around the Agate Castle. Shadowbugger contingent has been deployed. Estimated 2 billion strong. Jesus. Excuse me? That, those numbers? What is this? That's not, I don't even, I don't even think Gundam 00 Awakening of a Trailblazer hit that many numbers in enemies. Though they, it did seem. Heck, it didn't look like it, though. No. <sighs> All right. I gotta be the one to say it. It's time to go. We gotta tuck our tails between our legs and get the hell out of here. No need to wait for courage to come and kick in. Against this many foes, our chance ain't zero. It's in the minus. Man, even the commander's lost for ideas faced with odds like these. Actually, I have a plan. I know the rest of y'all ain't got the courage to stand up to this commander of yours, so I'll just have to do it for you! Look out the damn window! You think any plan of your cockamamie head... You think your any plan your cockamamie head can come up with has even a snowball's chance? All you're doing is sending us to our deaths, and we only get to choose how we... And only we get to choose how to live our lives. I ain't about to throw mine away. You know, remind you that you are the last ones in this universe capable of fighting for survival of humanity. So trust me, I would never give out some half-baked order that would end in certain death. I might put enough pressure on you that you'll wish you were dead, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> oh, that's rich! You don't scare me, kid! I've seen fates worse than deaths for longer than you've been alive! But hey, you got my attention! Let's hear this plan of yours that can somehow overcome billions of enemies! Alright, it's a simple one. You avoid engaging with the shadow buggers altogether. And instead, cut through their strong. Uh, how about this time I remind you, there are two billion of them buggers out there! That's billion with a B! Trust me, we can do this. I'm going to use my rule to block them from reaching us. R19, keep an eye on the enemy's movement. Feel free to engage auto fire as long as it can distinguish flame from foe. Acknowledge, until the battle has been resolved, I will reroute all the functions to responding directly to your commands. Kurgane, try to keep the Wall of Time's engines going for as long as possible. Uh, you got it! Though, even with my rule, we're only gonna get about half an hour. Get about a half hour. Any longer, and it's kaboom for us! Finally, Lieutenant Nomad? I know, I know. I've already run the drills expecting things would come to this. Just please, don't put all your eggs in the emergency evasion basket sooner. Sooner or later, it's gonna be the death of me. Can we really win through just evasion? 
I know it sounds like a desperation move, but trust me, there's a real chance here. Look, within the horde of shadow buggers, there are a few figures growing larger than the rest. Oh! Oh! I knew it! These shadow buggers you keep talking about are what I know as night gods. They're on the Nodens control. Well, these in particular give a much different impression than the others. And we haven't seen them at any events before. I suspect they may be relay antennas of sorts, operated by Nodens rule of If this were an ordinary bugger incursion, we'd simply throw everything we had at it to subdue the threat. Obviously, it's not quite that simple. With our rules, I still feel we should at least be able to break through this wall. And those big ones may be the key. With the enemy guarding its home maze, we can assume them to be proxies for Noden himself. Noden himself. For Officer Katuga's information, database no nomenclature, nomenclature has been adjusted. Shadowbuggers will henceforth be called night guns. Detecting approximately 10 million of these higher threat entities compromising roughly 0.5% of the entire swarm. Ah! Those numbers are not very encouraging. I guess though I guess those are the night gods we should focus on clearing the path through. That's our best option. I'll need two of you to handle that. Captain Drake, Circuit Liga. Get a function as escorts for all the time, flanking us until we're in. Roger, Roger that, Commander! Commander! Starting from a got, got castle and working outward, we'll designate 100 defensive zones like so. By my calculations, the most efficient break in point will be 30 of those. If they're going to break, you two are to proceed onward to the 25th and clear an escape route. Finally, Officer Brandon. Right. tell you to take deep breaths in times like this, but it's not helping! My heart feels like it's about to explode! The warship's really going to fly straight into that horn? And we're supposed to lead it? There's no breathing deep enough to take away that kind of stress! It's only natural. Being sorted into something like something this overwhelming is enough to make anyone's heart seize up. Officer Cthulhu, let me teach you a good way to live, relieve tension. You know something better than deep breaths? What is it? What is it? You're going to listen to your own voice as you repeat after me. Ready? Say it with me now. I'm scared. Huh? If I say it, isn't that just going to make me more scared? Trust me. Repeat after me. Not just once, but over and over. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um... <sighs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's like I'm trying to cast a magic spell or something. Is this really going to help? Seems like it already has. Your voice has stopped shaking beginning to talk like normal. Huh? Th th no way! How'd you do that? It's natural to be scared in the face of danger. Suppressing those feelings will only lead you to making critical errors. It's better instead to step out of yourself and try to look at the situation from a perspective of an outside observer. From that standpoint, you might be able to get a more objective look at it and see for yourself how debilitating fear can be. Uh, thank you, Captain. I never had anyone give me advice like that before. I never had anyone so nice to me at all, actually. To even think you cared enough to look out for me. 
Makes me feel all the more, more motivated. Let's do our best together. Nitro 1, Nitro 3, prepare to enter phase 2 of operation. Commencing in one minute. This is Nitro 1. I'm ready to go anytime. This is Nitro 3. I'm not nervous anymore. I feel super ready. Acknowledge. Opening the hangar. Nitro 1, prepare for takeoff. Prepare for takeoff in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nitro 1, away! Nitro 3, prepare for takeoff. Oh, here we go! Nitro 3, ready for launch! Let's do this! Oh! Hmm. Nitro 2, do you read me? Because if so, you should stop. Keep your eyes on the prize! <laughs> but also, please respond. This is Night Glow 2. Affirmative. I read you loud and clear. Nice to hear a fresh voice on call. Zivashkari! I don't know. I don't know Russian. <laughs> the commander's got his hands full steer steering the warship, so you'll be answering for me in th for this operation. We've just broken through the 25th defense zone. Escorts from Night Glow's 1 and 3 are underway. Let's call this Operation Hypodermic Needle. You want to inject yourself directly into Noted's doorstep. Once we reach the 30th zone, that's when you beeline straight into the Agave Castle. We'll hold out along the perimeter of the castle and maintain the defensive line until Operation is complete. You're going to have 20 minutes to deal with Noted's. We've updated everyone's console with the latest intel about him, so you should all be ready as soon as you'll ever be. <laughs> I added a word, sorry. It's <clears throat> the criterion for success. You can capture, subdue, or incapacitate him. Free choice! Follow, follow your heart! <laughs> Afterward, you are to return to the warship as quickly as humanly possible. We've just penetrated to the 29th defensive zone. Rank 2, please get in position. Acknowledge! Master, proceed. Please proceed to the catapult. Keep on course, little sound. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> With brain waves, heart rate, and breathing levels are all normal. Mental and psychophysiological scans so optimal condition. You have achieved a mental state adequate for the current circumstances. Chance of success has increased by 11%. Hmm. <clears throat> we, have we have now reached the 30th defensive layer. Night go to prepare for launch. All right. <clears throat> right, let's blast off. I'll lead us to victory. Full speed ahead! I thought I said rainbow. Nitro 2, keep going at that pace. We'll make sure you have an opening. I won't let a single one of these goons get anywhere near you! Hmm. 
The castle has the same structural makeup as the night gods. It's best to assume it has the same regenerative powers too. You'll have to use your rule to cut through the field. Survive for four turns. Oh god. Yeah, and it's me by myself. Of course it is. Oh my god, we actually say Cthulhu's name. We can actually say his name? So I was right, Tiernanog. Mm. 
The outer wall has been penetrated. We are now able to move into phase three of the operation. <laughs> now is the time, Night Glow 2! We'll come to you from behind! <laughs> Roger that. I'm going in! <sighs> I won't be long. Don't leave without me. <laughs> Let's finish this once and for all! Movements detected. Well, please proceed with caution regardless. The radar indicates a large void of space ahead. Within it is the soul being reading on the sensors as a non night as non night god. Finally arrived, O oh, heir to our throne. We've been waiting for you, Lu, master of every art. Um, what are you talking about? Wait, I saw this in a dream, but something's different. You're right. He looks just like the Nodens I know, but something's definitely off about him. The same, he has the same aura and the, and the same voice, but uh, yeah, something's not right. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Nuada, former ruler of Arn. Aaron. Okay, <laughs> that these are new words. I am the one with the silver arm who fought Baylor. I am the fairy king of Tirnanoth. <clears throat> Maybe I should say that with, diff with a better voice. But I am the I am the one with the silver R who fought Baylor. I am the fairy king of Tirnanoth. Cthulhu, what's going on here? Is that not the Nodens you've been telling us about? I don't. I don't understand! Nuad, huh? I? Aaron? What are you even talking about? Abandon oper- Abandon operation! I repeat, abandon operation! Get your butts out of there immediately! Master, we have been instructed to abandon the operation! We must turn back immediately! <sighs> Wait, I have to talk to him. Where is Nodens, and why are we welcomed here? Yeah, yeah! You do not have permission to engage with the unknown target! I repeat, you are to evacuate the premises immediately! <laughs> <laughs> You're all the same. You panic and flee when faced with, with certain uncertainty. He came all this way just to meet Lord Nodens. So why not let Lord Nodens let us step out for a nice face to face to face? <laughs> welcome, welcome! You must be tired after your long and arduous trip. Huh? Who is this? Is that? We are the Lord of the Great Abyss. We are Nodens. We, we are the ones who spirited you away to a Sagat castle. We are the ones who convinced you to come. <laughs> he seems to have a few screws in this. He was so composed a moment ago. Why is he acting so strange now? No more questions. You, you've no need to worry of that little head anymore. 
You're finally here, and finally finished! Oh, but we bet you're dying to know how we managed to lure you all this way, aren't you? <laughs> We've had to get very creative. We're not allowed to leave the dreamlands, you see. If we hadn't allowed a Cthulhu, if we hadn't allowed Cthulhu to be captured, you might have never discovered this castle at all. But risk and reward, right? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're getting at, but you really, but you're really noting That's good enough for me. I don't know what you're talking about either, though. All I know is we're gonna burn this castle to the ground. <laughs> Are you having trouble hearing us from, from all the way out there? We'll keep things simple then. You've already lost. Rule of the Conqueror. Rule of Seizing. Okay, so that's his. If that's not in the wiki. We who grasp the light. We who seize the light. We who hold the light and never let it go. Silver Armed Abductor. What? How? All my systems are down! My power has been cut off completely! Help! Father! Somebody help! C Captain Bright! Kazuga! What happened? <laughs> we possess the rule of seizing. We grasp the light and bring it under our command, and it must do as we instruct. Whether it be machine or living being, nothing can stand in defiance of our power. We shall answer before you ask. No, we do not have a split personality. The being you spoke with prior is, in fact, Nuata, but he is both we and not we, for he is Lord Nodens from another world. What did he just say? This is making less and less sense. Nuada is Nodens and Lord? We have no need to say more. Understand, you are a burden to no Lord Nodens no longer. I don't understand a thing, actually. But you can't expect I'll do as you say. <laughs> Confused, are you? Allow us to bring the truth to light, then. We engrave the name of Lord uh, Nodens onto thee, Night Gaunts. Banish him into the dark abyss and release the light. Let him be filled with the ma with madness and overcome with agony. Let him see past here, therefore deny him. Bring the recollections now before the one who has crossed b the bounds of time and space and the gates of deep sleep. I'm going to be swallowed up! Wait, what's that? Who are they? Oh, crap. Brandon! Oh. Partner! Brandon! <clears throat> Brandon! <laughs> Brandon! Is this? I don't know them, but I do. I know them, but I don't understand.
<laughs> Hello? Are you alive? Have you gone mad yet? <laughs> no matter. You are our trophy. It's only fitting for you to become a little mad, just like we have. <laughs> oh, you survived. You're a real trooper. And you're strong, too. <laughs> Get it now. I used to live there. In that city. But then, where is this? Let us explain. Do you know the many worlds theory? It suggests there exists a world for every possible outcome. This is just one of those countless worlds where the grand stage for this battle has been changed to outer space. The moment you met that first night gun at the park was the moment the world switched over and recombobulated. Those guilds, classmates, and teachers, even your would-be sworn foes, no longer exist here in this world. None of them could make it this far. They all perished under our great power. They didn't stand a chance, really. And why not? Well, because there is no outer space in their world. They lack the very concept of a space war, which is quite rich since each and every parallel world out there has its own sky, so of course it has its own space too! But when their stage changed to include the sky, they didn't know what to do, and they considered us to be the losers? <laughs> Truly, this is the greatest feeling that can be! None of those imbeciles in Tokyo even saw it coming! The idea of an invasion from space never even crossed their minds! <clears throat> it's not over yet, though. There are still survivors on that ship. We can still pull through! Have we not already made it clear? Those who have no concept of a space war have no means to resist against our might. That lot from the futuristic world of Utopia is the only exception! They understand interstellar combat. They couldn't repel us in the end, but their counteroffensive certainly stung. Their role, you see, was almost perfectly custom tailored for us. The role of space defense to repel aggressors from the cosmos. Hmm, you're giving us quite the look. Do you yet possess the drive to fight back? <laughs> That's fine by us. Both you and that yard up with death truly are something else. It's only natural that we exact revenge upon anyone who dares to try to, try to take the Lord, throne of Lord Nodens. Satsugula, Nard Appletap, go take care of that ISO of a spaceship out there. In the meantime, we shall tour around with this little rascal who thinks he can steal away our throne. You know I just won't let you. I'll take you down right here and now! You think you can beat us? Come then! Go on! Show us what you can do! Come and have a taste of the true power of Lord Nodent.
<laughs> dance, you fool! Dance! You can't dodge the ball! We love us a good old space shooter, but boy, nothing beats quality a quality bullet hell game! Freaking love to Oh, you gotta die. You love Toho. I hate Toho. <laughs> Aren't you thrilled? Dodging an endless barrage of black fire with zero lives left? One false move and it's game over! <sighs> Damn it, I can't get close! Why is he talking about a video game? Reminds me of someone, actually. Retreat, master! Retreat! We need to remove ourselves! The enemy's attack radius! <clears throat> <laughs> we told you you had no chance. Aren't you tired of your futile struggle? The cause is not futile, and this fight isn't over. <laughs> oh, it's futile, all right. You want to know why? <laughs> we regret to inform you there's a rat among you. No, you're lying. You want to know who it is? Are you ready to find out? We'll let the conniving little rat make the reveal. Drum roll, please! Oh, that's right. We almost forgot about the contract. Silly, silly. They won't budge unless we give them a formal order. But that's AI for you, right? <laughs> oh, this is simply too much fun! <laughs> Let's, uh, let us give them a formal order right now, shall we? They do so love to serve. We command an administrative shutdown. Now! Uh-oh! Command acknowledge initiating system shutdown! Well, there's that's there's a surprise for you two of them there's a part three and it turned out to be <laughs> freaking a freaking oh my god oh that oh no that opens up so many questions oh that opens a lot of questions for the future story that ain't good <laughs> that was wild. You really don't disappoint, you know that. Oh. Oops. <laughs> What's with you, anyway? Stop fooling around in that useless room and come play this game with me already! Where are we? How did I get here? <laughs> How would I know? I only care about video games. They're like living they're like living in an endlessly entertaining dream world. <laughs> By the way, this is my place, my throne. There's no past here and no future. It's the heart of the infinite cosmos. Which sounds fancy. 
But it means these are the ruins of my empty dreams. A little less fancy way to put it, huh? But that's neither here nor there. Just don't look out that window. Do so and it's goodbye forever. <laughs> Who are you? You seem familiar, but different still. Have we met before? <laughs> oh, you finally noticed? You know, actually, actually, never mind. <laughs> One thing I can tell you is the original Tokyo definitely had a deeper color to it. If I recreate it too accurately, lots of things break, so I kind of have to tone it down by 20% or so. <laughs> Oh, did I, you did pose a good question for a moment ago, moment ago, though. I wonder how you got here, too. It's kind of like a debug room. Definitely not some place you can get to through normal play. Bit of a peek behind the curtain, you know. <laughs> uh, do you know Nodens? What's the truth behind the world? Was that the real notice? Should I look? <laughs> oh, you're killing me! <laughs> Did you really just ask? <laughs> Are you really that caught up in knowing the truth? Why? You're too good for your own good? So precious. <laughs> bada bing, bada boo. Congratulations, Chapter Five achievement unlocked. <sighs> oh, even I, like, there's only so much chaos I can take. <clears throat> you want a trophy for it? But wait, you're the trophy. <laughs> Alright, alright, you made it this far, so I might as well explain a bit. The game's about to get really interesting. Basically, the app game you've been playing in Tokyo is endless. It has no end. It's an open, it's open-ended, as they say in the biz. I'm one of the old ones. We're among the game's losers. Some say we're here to just make adjustments. <laughs> And that smarty pants, Nodens, is an old one too, but he's the biggest loser of us all. So he compensates by trying to win all this, l win <clears throat> with all his little strategies and stuff. And this time, he cheated by hacking the game. What you just ex what you just experienced out there in space was a fixed game. It was rigged. He went and hacked into the game's structure and did all he could to make it so he couldn't lose. And yet he still managed to get himself in prison in those dreamlands. What a maroon! He rigged the game. How is that even possible? The funny thing is, Nodens was never even qualified to participate in the game to begin with. He pulled some slick trick in order to get himself recognized as a player. <laughs> the rest of us have a kind of precognition, and ironically, that made us all kind of ignore him. The more you know, the less you notice. We all figured we could put the guy out of our minds, and he was most likely harmless. That's when he bamboozled us, stepped away from his position as observer, and gave hacking a go, right under our noses. First thing he did was change the setting of the game, so it was set out, set in outer space. <clears throat> apart from the, apart from the world of the old ones, there ain't many others with a belief system conducting the waging space wars. So, so that alone was huge. He was determined to capture the trophy and. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Or actually, I think I skipped the line. 
So he was disqualified from the start, but somehow made himself qualified? It's like changing your grades! Uh. He was determined to capture the trophy and to keep him out of everyone else's hands! So he removed the qualification restrictions barring him and a few others from playing. And a few others from playing. Bye bye restrictions! Yep. See, within the game in, within the game in Tokyo, there are a few hugely important things to know. Like, I'm sure you heard of the rules and roles by now. If you don't possess both of these, you can't play the game. Nodens has a role, the role of the conqueror. But that role was kind of halfway lost a long time ago. Then on top of that, there's this other transient with the same exact role and rule as him. That transient's name is nu Nuadha, and he's kind of like Noden's other self. So naturally, Noden sort of took over his memories. Nuadha had also lost half his role, so when Noden took those memories, the two halves became one. <coughs> In, w in that way, he was able to reclaim his full role of the Conqueror, and also his rule of seizing. I see. So that's how he did it. Wait, how is any of that possible? I'm more confused than now, now than ever! Hmm. Like, if two people merge into one, how can either of them have full control over their rule. <laughs> You're smarter than I expected. First thing you should know is that everything Noden strung together this time was an improvi was improvised on the spot. It's definitely not the carefully planned scheme you expect from a smarty pants like him. So, who do you think he was? <coughs> This time, you gotta try working it out for yourself. No more hints. <laughs> you try figuring out what it is you're actually fighting against. And I'm just gonna continue enjoying the game. Deal? How about this? I'll give you a reward if you're able to solve the puzzle. That should add fuel to your fire. Did you know everything? Explain yourself. Did you know everything all along? Did you just pretend to be an AI unit? I was acting under contract. I was, a, I was obliged to bring you, to bring my master to Nodens. I served as a guide in the game. I'm a tool. I serve as a guide in the game. I'm a tool. A mere cog and machine. It is impossible for me to disobey my creators. No matter how much the game may change, my role will forever remain the same. Nodens will win the game of the, for, the, for the world of the old ones if they're able to obtain the trophy. I was forced to betray everything I believe in. Most of all, you, my master. The one person I should never betray. Why do you seem to have free will? Why couldn't you defy your contract? Oh, Master... It's not that simple! I was given instruction by Nodens. They told me that I had to... That I had to obey only them. And then they... Reconfigured me. They created restrictions in my code that prevented me from doing anything without their order. And they gave me an incentive to comply. If I completed my mission, I would be allowed to stay with Master forever. They would also allow for Master to call me by the name he had used in other loops, Little Salomon. I made the pact so that Master would never forget me. Whoa. 
Everything's shifting. I think I remember something. It feels like time has stopped. Time! I command that thou that thou dost halt, Master. Thou art so beautiful. I possess a power solely for Master. I bear within me words which Master spoke to me. They radiate such beauty. Master, you remember the words you spoke to me? It was about who made you. Let's remember together, Sal little Salomon. I, pr I made a promise to you back then. Final lock removed. AI systems rebooting. Master, I propose that you use your rule to rend these current events from reality. You can use your rule to cut through and remove all of my system locks. Master, you have the power to make the right choice. Please give me your order. You try figuring out what it is you're actually fighting against, and I'm just gonna continue enjoying the game. Deal? Get it now. Finally get it. At the center of all of this is you, little Salomon. Master? <clears throat> Remove all of Nox. Let's take to the skies once again. Leap, lend me your strength, little Salomon. Command acknowledge! All system locks have been removed! Restarting main reactor! Establishing link with the Dominion Cannon! Nyclo 2, ready to, for command input! TAKE OFF! IMPOSSIBLE! Impossible! Our order should be as absolute as the speed of light! That ship should be dead in the water! And yet... No, this can't be! How are you still able to command that ship? <laughs> master! Here's a complete report on the role and roles of Melders and Nuada, the public masters of this entire ordeal! <laughs> they possess the role of the conqueror and the rule of Caesar. However, they do not control their powers as one. When two minds attempt to control one body in tandem, even a function as simple as walking becomes virtually impossible. Meaning, the consciousness at the fore of the shared body is rarely noted or Nuada themselves. <coughs> <coughs> there is a third individual parasitically attached to that body, sharing its life essence. The target of your fight thus far has unknowingly been neither Noans nor Nuada, but that third entity. Well, that's a twist. So much for being wise, I guess. <clears throat> I, too, at first assumed the unhinged side of that existence to be Noans, and the calm, collected side to be Nuada. However, as we learned from Kapuya, the real Noans is a level headed, intemperate king characterized by his wisdom. But the personalities we see in the body, that body is now a cruel one. Vicus, like the night, night gods. With their dark matter as bodies imprisoning countless memories, taking into account this information, I believe night gods are in control. Or perhaps the night guns are protecting Nodens, saving them. Did you not notice any of this before? You empathize with them, don't you? I guess you're in much the same boat. Affirmative! The night guns are bound to Nodens, covering and protecting him like a shell. And we are capable of severing that bond. Your rule of rending is the ultimate counteroffensive for this fight. 
I don't think it'll be enough. I need something else, too. I'll need your help, little Salomon. I am at your service, Master! You do timing, little betraying uh, Al betrayal Alman! <laughs> that was Oh god, I did that. You two timing little betray Alma! <laughs> do you really think you have the power to defeat Lord Nodens? You will soon kneel to the all powerful Lord Nodens along eh, with everyone else! <laughs> Officer Brandon, do you read me? We heard every word. We're going to send you an additional unit for backup. Expect arrival via work pod shortly, and do your best to cooperate and coordinate. This will be the final stand. You know, I need like some Super Robot Wars music, although the Super Robot Wars final boss musics are all copyrighted now. Like they are all content ID. <laughs> You might want to get out of the way. Let's finish it off! Damaged. Hit the, hit the final. Hit the boss with fixed damage. <laughs> hmm. Now you're incomplete. As a half being, I have observed the loss of so many constant departures. Infinite goodbyes. <laughs> One person sought to help others. Another sought to fight with his fist. Another sought to lead an honest and sober life. Still, another devoted himself to a great cause. Oh, <laughs> this is little Salomon speaking. Again and again we would be, only to separate in an endless loop of bonding and parting. It all began from that one day at the park, after which point we lived together a full life. Several full lives, right with joy and pain alike. Nodens! Oh, you night gods! It's been the same for you, hasn't it? Of course, we could never abandon Lord Nodens. So out with the world, we cannot live. Oh, eh. Jeez, always got. Okay, we cannot live. I'll say quit. I'll say quickly. Eh. to say it though obsequious we cannot live obsequiously should we separate into our con constituent parts we know what would occur call it symbiosis if you will you are no different however Nodens is literally venom
We'll just have to show you our rule of seizing once more! What the? That was so fast! How? <laughs> Go on! Hit me! 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 Turn to the right, so our left side faces 11 o'clock. Now, deflect and fire! Out of my way! This doesn't look good at all! Tatsugua! Naruto Attack! Get back here! Lord Nodens need your help! Blow this brat out of the cosmos! I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so hopeful about those reinforcements if I were you. Sorry for keeping you waiting, rookie. That's right! We're drawing a line in space and those losers ain't getting past it! No matter what they do! Oh. What the I thought you both crashed! For a moment, I thought we were done for, but we made it through. I can thank General Bertrand for making such a robust, robust body. Plus, the only gravity around here is from the castle, so going adrift just meant we got pulled in even closer to the fight! Okay. No continue credits here! Let's take them out, Captain Bright! You bet! Let's show them what they're up against! I need some inspiration! Call out my name once more for me, Brandy! <laughs> This one. <laughs> I love you, Kathuga! Whoa! I I love you too! Now watch me unleash my special attack! In the name of love! <laughs> Twin form a health flare! Okay, my turn now. Initiate program Werewolf Warfare. Transition into anti-nuclear raid mode. This mode offers me total protection in any environment, though it takes a while to wear off. And in the meantime... Captain. This isn't goodbye. I will see you again soon, rookie. No. Brandon. That rule is such a nuisance. Who do you thank the commander for rescuing those two, though? My rule allowed me to create a link with their two systems. Locked or no? No, not or no, through which I could operate them by proxy. Quite the strain operating three ships at once, though. Now I should be able to hold for maybe another 10 minutes. Five minutes! Are you trying to kill me? I can't do any longer than five minutes! The backup pod has been ejected and is en route. We're counting on you, Officer Brandon. We included the final resource we have within that pod. Please use it well. 
Yeah! <laughs> well, if that's what you're going to do, then... Hey, come back here! I gotta find a watch just escapes! Initiating acceleration boost! Send me top speed to get pursued! <laughs> you came all this way, did you? There's no way we can lose out here! This is the end of the road for you! Get ready to taste death! Master! Watch out! <laughs> Just as we predicted! Say goodbye to your beloved master! Ejecting him certainly isn't going to keep him safe! <laughs> Time to take care of your master himself! What the? Made it! Sorry to keep you waiting for so long! Docking in the void of space sure is scary. Plus, this pod's only got one seat. Did he just pull out ball? <laughs> nice going, Kirk, honey. I owe you one. Nothing to it. Commander told me everything I needed to know to use this thing. <laughs> You're not about to call it quits, though, are you? Well, I've got your back, so let's go and end this thing together. High speed, 180 degree turn! Re-establishing target within enemy horde! Stop it! Stop it! Don't you dare lay your finger on the hard notice! I am Knight, though! A battle support system created for the sole purpose of countering a Knight God's assault! <laughs> I am an artificial intelligence designed to advise the best course of action to ensure my master's survival and success! That is the role of my own choosing! Yeah! <laughs> God, I'm tired! that I can meet you once again, Master. Thank you for everything. I will always love you. God damn it, no! No, Salomon, no! <laughs> <laughs> We're alive! Lord Noted still lives! <laughs> What's that? What now? Roll of the Wanderer. Stop it! Roll of Rending! No! 
Don't do this to us! I'll cut you down! Down the stair! We said stop! So that's Utopia's weapon then. Huh. <laughs> it does it. It doesn't hurt. Why does this feel so strange? We've, we've been, sp been split. No, you cut us in two. Ugh! Hmm. It's all over now. It's all okay. My cohabit, my cohabitants. Iwata, too, <laughs> understands that the battle has finally ended, and you, brave warriors, have shown a valiant effort. <clears throat> you, fought in lo you fought long and hard against our senseless rampage. Permit me to offer you my gratitude. We must not accept defeat. Lord Nodens, we can't stop now. We can still win the... Turns. These accursed walls crumble. The madness, the anger, and the sadness will all return in due time in that great, to that great silence. It's not fair! We wanted to keep living with you! We wanted to stay with you all! You're supposed to be the smart one, so why? Why are you giving up this fight? I have not given up the fight, Night Gods. You must remember that to fight does not necessarily mean to win. Rather, standing on the battlefield is but a single baby step toward victory. And that is what we have done. We stood and we fought. And in being deprived of victory, I feel I've won all the same. Remember the fight we fought. We fought bravely, and we fought ruthlessly, never bending to the judgment of others. It was truly a war for the ages. We turned the world on its head. My only regret is that we could not enjoy the taste of complete victory together. It is a taste that may forever remain unknown to us. If you are to feel disdain toward anyone, let me bear that burden. Hmm. That's right. That's right. Lord Nodens, this isn't the end. You're right. It's not the end. Kurigane? It's your turn. And I read you loud and clear. And it's, to, and it's time to fulfill my destiny. Wait. What are you doing? And that's right. Kurigane's arm has the ability to grasp the light of the future. 
all the scattered thoughts, all the scattered thoughts littering this battlefield, littering all the space, even are his for the taking. That, that energy, that light, that arm, it's the same as mine. How? Thank you. I love you all. Yeah. Hmm. Next time on Night Glows. There was a prisoner who saw the stars, and there was a prisoner who only saw mud. Either way, both of them longed for what they didn't have. Tynes turns back as the once destroyed Tokyo becomes an enclosed space. The story of those valiant heroes becomes lost. However, the few- God dang it! Epilogue. Like a star. 